What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today we've got something a little bit different. We're going to be ditching the phone and pulling out the laptop and I'm going to show you how you can run Android apps and games on your Windows or Mac laptop and this will also work on desktops as well. So sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. Step one is to go to andydroid.net and download the Andy emulator and the link to this is in the description. So you just go to andydroid.net, you want to scroll down to where it says download and this will download the version which is right for your operating system. Once that is downloaded to your machine, you obviously want to open it and install it. This will differ depending on whether you're running something with Windows or something with OS X. As I'm running this on a MacBook, I'm going to go ahead and double click on the android.pkg file and this will launch the installer wizard. You then want to go through all of this, accepting all the terms and hitting continue, and eventually that will be installed. So now all you need to do is go ahead and open up Andy, and you've got a couple of things you can do. You can resize this window to be full screen, or you can make it whatever size you want. Along the bottom here, on the far left, you've got an option for the camera, but this unfortunately doesn't work. To the right of that, you've got your microphone, and you can either have this turned on or you can disable it. To the right of that, you've got an option to change your location, so you can either have it working through your local network so it'll know where you are, or you can set this manually. And then finally, to the right of that, we've got a little option which allows you to control stuff using your keyboard. Then you've got your standard Android back, home, and recents buttons. And on the right-hand side, you've got a menu overflow button. You've got a rotation locker and a little heart, which will let you tweet or Facebook the company who make this. So the first time you boot this, you might get an unfortunately Andy has stopped error message. Just go ahead and click OK and everything will be fine. So you can now see you've basically got an Android tablet running on your computer. If we go into the settings, you can see that this is running Android 4.2.2. This is one of the limitations of Andy or other emulators like BlueStacks. They all tend to run much older versions of Android. This is fine for a lot of things, but if you're really looking to sort of experiment with the nitty gritty and all the sort of cutting edge stuff with Android, you're not going to be able to do this on an emulator. Step three is to open the Play Store and then sign into your Google account. This will let you download apps from the Play Store as if this was just a normal tablet. As a little bonus step four, I recommend you download a custom launcher and the one I've been using on this emulator is Nova Launcher. And the home screen I've got at the moment is using the Forest Live wallpaper, which gives you this lovely sort of moving wallpaper in the background. And then I've also got a bunch of different Zupa widgets. So this widget in the bottom left with a little icon, the time, a uh, message counter and an all apps button is Flaterial. This search bar is then from Marshmallow for Zupa. This weather widget is again from the Flaterial pack and this calendar widget is from a pack called Material Style and the links to all of those including the live wallpaper will be in the description below. So there you are guys, that is how you can run Android apps and games on your laptop. Some really system intensive games are going to be able to run on this, especially depending on your laptop or your computer's hardware. But as a little example, I'll show you a game of Clash Royale which this handles absolutely perfectly. The quality looks a little bit low but that's because of the screen capture app that I'm using. This actually renders on my MacBook in sort of very crispy HD. I've been playing a lot of Crash Royale recently. It's a really great game because you can literally just pick it up, play three or four minutes and then put it down again. It's also live multiplayer, which I find really compelling. I really can't stand the sort of um, Clash of Clans model where it's really, really slow. It is live, but it's much, much slower. This is really, really quick and addictive. So I got a Lava Hound in a super magical chest, I think, a while back. So I've been rocking that for a while. Um, and one of my favorite decks is the Lava Loon. So this is another guy using a Lava Hound and he sort of underestimated that initial push with the loon which let me get up first tower and then he's going to keep trying to drop this lava hound and i'm just going to keep mirroring my minion horde and he's got no response to that so i can just chip away at his king tower up top here and then here he actually manages to fireball those minions and grab my tower but then drop in another loon and boom so yeah that is an example of a game running on andy emulator let me know in the comments below if you've got any issues with this or whether you've got any recommendations for any other emulators i have also tried blue stacks but that seems to be really buggy for some reason although i know a lot of people love it but if anyone can find an emulator that lets you run like android 5.0 or 6.0 that'd be pretty awesome but i don't think that's out yet there is also a remote control app for this which lets you use your phone to control games i haven't had much luck with that it really really hammers the frame rate whenever I do it but that might be a limitation with either my Nexus 5 or my MacBook but let me know if you've had any luck with that in the comments below again links to everything I've talked about are going to be in the description thank you very much for watching please like this video if you've enjoyed it you can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description please do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video peace